I replaced the carburetor here on my older Echo string trimmer with a new, brand new unit from HIPAA, and it's been starting and running amazing. I have noticed, though, the top end is a bit lacking. So I'm going to show you how to tune this carburetor to get maximum performance out of your small engine with one of these replacement carburetors. So they do a pretty good job of getting this thing preset to get you up and running. But to get it uh, tuned in perfectly, you're going to have to do a little tweaking yourself. But the good news is they supply a tool with every carburetor kit for you to do this. And so basically, this is just a small flat blade screwdriver. And in this case, um, on the back of the carburetor, there is a small screw uh, in between this metal plate and just below the prime bulb there. There's a small screw here that we need to get access to. Um, so the good news is this will start up and run right out of the box and run decent. But again, to get that max performance, we're going to have to tune the carburetor, which is the case with any one of these units. Um, each engine's a little bit different. So you need to do this. So we're going to start it up and I'm going to walk you through how to do this to make this engine really rip. So first thing, we're just going to start our, our engine up, let it idle a bit and let it warm up. All right, now that we've got our engine running, it's warm. What we're gonna do is go to full throttle while having this adjusting tool in that screw. And we're gonna start by turning it as if we're gonna tighten it. So this screw is basically going into an orifice and if we drive it further in, it's gonna reduce gas flow. So my guess here is this is set up to run a bit rich that's on the safe side for starting and running. Um, but we're just going to dial back that gas pull a little bit, see if we can get the RPM up. So what we're, our goal here is to run this thing at full throttle, adjust this screw until we can reach maximum RPM. It'll be very noticeable. You can easily tell this if you go too far, the RPM will start dropping. Just back it off and find that sweet spot where this engine really starts to sink. So, let's get to it. All right, you should have heard that pretty good with the RPM and the noise of the engine. I went a little bit past and tightened it in a little bit too far. The RPM started to come down, so then I went to back off the screw and let up a little bit more gas in. RPM went back up, and I like to go just let it out a little bit more until you hear occasionally the RPM go down. That's often referred to in the two-stroke world as force cycling, um, so just that pitch change in the RPM. Once in a while, it gives a deeper uh, instead of the, the high pitch line. Um, that's right where you want to be. So now we got that tuned up. We've got the high end good. Uh, the next thing is you can tell at idle here, the RPM is up significantly. So we want to lower that idle speed. Again, this is a very simple adjustment we can make with our tool. So this screw is simply pressing on the throttle here. So we're just going to take our adjusted screw and back this off. And you can hear that RPM come right down. Now if you go too far, this will die. You just want it at a decent 
a decent level here. We're going to keep running. See, I went too far. I'm just going to crank it in. A few turns, start it back up. You notice when we have the RPM set right at idle, our head is not spinning at all. So the last thing you want to do is just kind of put it through a full, put it through a few full throttle blasts. Make sure when you let off, it doesn't die when it goes back to idle. That's all there is to it. Happy tuning. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Adios.